This one is so exciting to me. My light yogurt cake recipe transformed into even lighter option. From 256 to 140 calories per serving and from 12 to 16 grams of protein. I also tested a strategy that will keep the cake from deflating while cooling. The only ingredients I changed were yogurt. I replaced 5% yogurt with a non-fat Greek yogurt. And I have here 350 grams of it. And the second thing I replaced was sugar with monk fruit sweetener. And that's it. Let's start with separating egg yolks from egg whites, being extra careful not to drop any yolk into egg whites. That will prevent the egg whites from forming stiff peaks. I'm gonna drop the egg whites into a bowl of an electric mixer. It's gonna be much easier and faster to beat them to the stiff peaks. And while that is going, I'm gonna prepare a baking dish. I have here seven by 11 inches baking dish and I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. That will help with removing the cake from the baking dish when it's, once it's done. Once the egg whites are done, I'm gonna transfer them to a bowl because I'm gonna need this one. Look how stiff they are, perfect. I'm gonna use this one for the egg yolks to beat them. And there is no really any need of cleaning that bowl. It's perfectly fine. The other way, it's not a good one. So that's why you beat this, the, the egg whites first and then you use it for egg yolks in that particular order. And I'm gonna add a monk sweet, a monk sweet, a monk fruit sweetener. And I'm gonna put it back and try to cream them smoothly. And by the way, the yolks will not cream the same way as the uh, with the sweetener as they would with the sugar. So no worries, they will still be good and you won't notice in the finished product. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and 350 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt. For cups and ounce measurements, please visit the link below in the description. Beat until smooth. You can also use the mixer. Sift 400 grams of cornstarch and mix well. You wanna get this smooth batter. Fold in the egg whites, making sure they do not deflate. Fold them just like so. It will take some patience and quite a few stirs. Let's grab our baking dish. And it, it's hard for the parchment paper to stick to it unless you grease it, I didn't wanna do that. But once the batter is poured into it, the, the weight of it will press it tightly and it's gonna be fine. Thank you. 
and I'm gonna prepare a bath uh, for this, just like for a cheesecake when you're baking it. This is my attempt to see if I can prevent the cake from deflating, which happens, unfortunately, every single time. So grab a bigger sheet pan. This size is perfectly fine. Load the tray with the baking pan and put it into preheated oven at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to add boiling water to the baking pan and bake it for 45 minutes. I'm going to raise, after 45 minutes, I'm going to raise the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for additional 15 minutes. And this is how it looks after all this time, which is pretty much an hour. It's nice and browned on top. And I want to make sure that this still stays as high as possible, so I'm going to turn it off and leave it crack open until it cools completely. And that takes about an hour or two hours even, I would say. When you feel there's no more heat coming out of the oven, that's when you're gonna take it out. And you know what, I'm pretty satisfied. It really didn't deflate as much, didn't go completely down. So I'm gonna take it out, out of the baking dish, so it doesn't marinate in there. And if you, if you need to cool it more, you can go ahead and do it now. I'm gonna cut it in four pieces. We here eat them extremely fast, so there is no even purpose of cutting it into small pieces. I will just do it this time so you can see how beautiful it is. Looks, look, look how amazing this looks. It is so crunchy on top and cloud-like inside. And, ooh, I'm telling you, this is so delicious. You can add some uh, chocolate ganache on top, serve it with fruit, or even strawberry preserves that uh, you can make it yourself. I'm gonna put the link to that recipe up. Wow, amazing. This is a perfect everyday dessert. I just need to go ahead and devour this right now. And you watch these videos next. And that's exactly what I'm going to see you next.